Hey, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Josh. I'm Chris. And this is the MacWorks Weekly Update. First thing we're going to talk about is patents. Da, da, da. Everybody's suing everybody over everything. Apple actually did receive a design patent for the first iPad. Apple actually applied for the patent the day before the first iPad's release. Now, that's just for the first iPad, though, right? For iPad 1. Wow. Yeah, yeah so it's been... What was that? A full year with the iPad 1, then full year with the iPad 2, and we're now... So it, two and a half years for the patent to get approved. Crazy. It's cool that they got the patent on it, and I'm sure it'll help them in all of their uh, court cases moving Ch forward. Girl. Not a huge fan of all of the legal garbage that goes on behind the scenes. Yeah. Let's stop wasting time moving on, suing people, and start making cool stuff. Hey! <laughs> How you doing, beautiful? How you doing? How you doing? He called me beautiful. I didn't call you beautiful. It's talking to the MacBook. Dude. Next thing on the list is the fact that Apple has hired um, a recently departed Amazon executive to run Siri. He used to run um, Amazon search and navigation uh, departments, if you will. He has a PhD from MIT, um, has also worked with Oracle, also has worked with AltaVista. Um, before Google was cool, <laughs> yeah. AltaVista was probably the best. Uh, That's pretty hot. Uh, technical search engine. Yeah, back in the day when anything besides Google, you know, might actually be used to do a search. Wait. Lycos, Excite, Dog Pile. <laughs> Wait till I tell you about this. <laughs> the next two things we're actually going to talk about are somewhat related. Um, due to increasing uh, resolutions of iOS apps, the average app size has gone up quite a bit, at least 20%. Really? Uh, <coughs> over the last six months or so. Uh, basically since the iPad 3 was released. Sure. It's because universal applications are actually one app that is used for iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch. Yep. Um, it is one app, one bundle that gets downloaded no matter which device you have. So if you're uh, downloading a universal app that's been optimized for the retina display on the iPad 3, then you're also downloading all of that iPad 3 artwork for something as small as your iPhone. Gotcha. It can make a difference, especially if you're obsessed with apps. Um, <laughs> this guy. How many apps do you have on your phone? Well over 300 at this yeah. point. iOS 6 appears to have a bug that allows apps to actually download information in the background on cellular data yeah. instead of on <clears> Wi-Fi. <throat> Big bad buggy thing. <laughs> this, this guy. <laughs> this guy. One of our team members, Tim, um, has uh, an obsession with podcasts similar to mine. Um, and he ended up downloading well over six gigs of data Oof. in the background without yeah. his knowledge <clears throat> and Verizon tried to ding him for it. Yeah. Um, they have rectified the charges, so uh, yes. they're, they're being cool about it. They're aware, um, um, but just be aware that that's something to look for on your bill. My usage so far this month is sitting somewhere around 2 gigs, um, which, which is about average, right? Uh, no. <laughs> An average is about 200 megabytes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hardly anyone uses... <laughs> it shows you what I know. <laughs> no, hardly, hardly anyone uses more than 200 megabytes a day. Wow. Really? Um, and my average is typically somewhere between three and 400 megabytes. Oh, so my God. I've gone up by more than a gig and a half of data <laughs> this month than what you would consider average. And I'm not doing anything differently. Yeah. I don't really have anything else to say, do you? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways, we'll say goodbye for the week. We'll see you next time.